hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to deploy ml models using django if you have seen our earlier video you will find that we had used flask before to deploy ml models but now we are going to use django for the in this video all right so i've created this website and i have deployed it on heroku as well i will provide the link of the website in the description below so you can also uh, view this website uh, so I've taken a problem from analytics with the, it's the HR analytics challenge and the problem statement is your client is a large MNC and they have nine broad verticals across the organization and one of the problem your client is facing is around identifying the right people for promotion and to prepare them in time all right if you click on the details button you will be redirected to your analytics with their account uh, you will find all the problem statement and its details on this page. Uh, when you download the data set, these are the columns in your CSV file. So the output is uh, is promoted, yes or no. So it's the, pro the output is a 0 or 1 uh, value. Alright, so it's a classification based problem. And the evaluation metric is uh, F1 score. And you can download the uh, files from here. Make sure you have an account on Analytics with you so that you can uh, download the data set as well as make submissions uh, for this particular challenge. So in my submissions, uh, I've done my last submission on May 25th, 2019. All right. Let's get back to our website. Uh, so, in, so this website will let you download the prediction files for this these three particular models. All right. So you simply click on this model and as you can see your uh, prediction file uh, is downloaded. Only the same can be for Gaussian as well as random forest. All right. Now let's see how we can do this using Django. So this is my uh, uh, machine learning file, the model. Uh, so I have first imported all the libraries that I'm going to use. Then I have, uh, then I'm reading my data set in the CSV files. And after that, I'm doing uh, some pre-processing on the uh, data set. All right. So you can understand the code. It's pretty straightforward. You can uh, ha see the entire code on my GitHub. Uh, the link for the for, for my GitHub is on the website itself. Now the three models that I'm using are Gaussian knife base, random forest and multinormal knife base. All right. So uh, you create an object of that model, you fit it to your data set and then I'm saving my model using pickle. All right. So I'm saving my three models. All right. So this is, this is the machine learning part. Uh, but let's see now uh, our Django file. So this is the Django views.py file. So in this I have my uh, pre-processed test file and I'm importing that test file. Next what we have is uh, our models function. So when the user clicks on any one of the buttons, this particular function uh, is triggered. All right. And now the next thing we need to check is which one of the three buttons was was clicked so in our html file so this is the html file and i have my three buttons all right and i have named those buttons gnb multi nb and rf all right so when the user clicks on any one of these buttons uh, this particular name i have it here all right so i know which button was clicked and if this button was clicked then i'm loading the particular model that we just created using our machine learning uh, Python file and I'm uh, using that particular uh, model to predict uh, the values for uh, to predict our values on the test data that we just imported all right so this is the pre-processed data and after that uh, I'm saving it into a CSV file using two underscore CSV function and after that uh, I need to send the uh, downloaded file uh, to the front end all right so so for that we use an http response 
and we are returning that response all right as an attachment and i've done the same thing for other two buttons as well so if this particular button is clicked then i i will load this particular model and then we will do the prediction based on this model all right so this is the uh, entire uh, django code for deploying models so i'm showing you the views.py file make sure you have your urls urls.py uh, file changed as well so this is the function download function and the views.model all right so let's get back to our website so this was the django uh, tutorial on deploying your ml models so if you are familiar with django and html the front end part uh, you will find this easy uh, but if you are not familiar with this then you will you might struggle a little so make sure you know the basics of django and the front end like html bootstrap and css all okay? right you will find my entire code on the github so either you can click on this button or you can use my link tr link tree link as well all right so this is my github that's it then this is what this was the uh, entire video for deploying ml models if you have any questions uh, you can tell us in the comment section below if you like our content please like share and subscribe to our channel all right thank you